Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. The topic I'd be discussing today is post-vacation blues and how to deal with them. I know, we all have been there, planning for an adventure vacation sometimes six months and even years. And just like that, it's over. Recently for us, coming back home after an unforgettable two-week journey through Vienna, a day in London, and nine days in Paris for the Olympics has been a bit of a challenge. The post-vacation blues are real, especially after being immersed in the beauty of Vienna's stunning architecture, the charm of London's royal sites, and the electrifying atmosphere of the Olympics. Now that we're back to our regular routines, the contrast is pretty stark, but I'm finding ways to ease back into things and keep the magic of our trip alive. Embracing the memories is the first thing I've been doing and really soaking in these memories is, is important. We've been flipping through the photos and videos that we took. Each one brings back a flood of emotions. And there's something special about revisiting moments, right? You know, I spent wondering about Shonburn Palace, standing in awe at Buckingham Palace and being able to go inside Buckingham Palace for the first time or cheering on the athletes at the Paris Olympics. Sharing these stories with friends and family has also been a great way to keep those experiences fresh in my mind. I've even started jotting down my favorite memories in a journal, which has been surprisingly therapeutic. Next is creating a gentle transition. You know, getting back into my routine hasn't been easy, so I decided to give myself a bit of grace. Instead of diving straight back into work, I took an extra day to unpack, organize my souvenirs, and just relax. I know, I felt like I needed more. <laughs> this made the transition a little smoother and helped me adjust from the fast-paced excitement of our vacation to the more predictable rhythm of daily life. The other thing that I thought about is planning for micro-adventures, right? One of the things I found helpful in combating the post-vacation blues is planning small local adventures. You don't even have to spend overnight anywhere. I'm just looking into um, maybe we can get away at day trips or even just exploring a new, a new area of my city that we have not been to before. You know, these micro-adventures give us something to look forward to. And um, while they might not be as grand as our recent travels, they help us maintain that sense of exploration and discovery that we love so much. Next on my idea list is integrating vacation lessons into daily life. You know, I've been reflecting on the little lessons and insights I picked up during our trip. For instance, Vienna's coffee culture reminded me to slow down and truly enjoy my mornings, something I've started doing, uh, doing back home. London's parks inspired me to spend more time outdoors and the Paris Olympics reignited my interest in sports and fitness. By incorporating these elements into my daily routine, I've been able to hold on to the essence of my vacation and let it enrich my everyday life. I learned a lot about patience, 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 and to always be mindful about being grateful. The next is staying connected to the experience. Wow, yeah. You know, the Olympics really left an impression on us. So I've been staying connected by following related events and communities. I'm even thinking about joining a local sports club. I actually looked it up yesterday of joining a running club for adults in our area or attending more cultural events. Staying engaged with uh, these interests helps keep the, the, the spirit of, of the trip alive and, and, and gives a sense of continuity between our vacation and our regular lives. The next may be a little bit soon for some, but planning for the next adventure. Perhaps the best way I've found to beat the post-vacation blues is by starting to plan our next adventure. Even if it's just a ways off, you know, the excitement of thinking about where I might go next keeps, us, keeps me motivated and upbeat. Um, just by mere manifesting it is exciting. You know, I'm revisiting a place that probably captured our hearts or exploring somewhere completely new. The anticipation alone is enough to keep my spirits, our spirits high. The last thing is, I'm going to keep the dream alive. I'm determined 
not to let the post-vacation blues linger. Instead, I'm using this time to enrich my life with the lessons I've learned, patience, number one, and the memories I've created. And I'm planning those micro-adventures, you know, savoring the moments of our last trip and keeping my spirit of exploration inspired. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Whether it's diving into a new hobby, planning a local escape, or dreaming about our next big adventure, there's always something on the horizon to look forward to. So I'm going to keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep living my best life because there's no other option. My next dream adventure is just around the corner and I can't wait to see where that takes me. Thanks for watching and blessings and peace to you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more.